I'm going to show you how to get and watch BBC iPlayer on Apple TV outside the UK. I'll try and keep it short and sharp. We'll fly through it. It's all pretty easy. Right, so the first thing you need to do is create a UK-based iCloud account. Now, I'm not going to go through every single step for that. We have a separate video showing how to do that. You can catch it in the top right now. Um, what that will do is it will allow you to find BBC iPlayer in the App Store. I'll quickly show you. I'm, on, I'm, I'm based in New Zealand, and I'll show you how I cannot find it um, when I'm not connected to a UK-based iCloud account. So if I go to BBC, nothing pops up. So if I go back, change to my UK account, go to the App Store, BBC, boom, there it is. So all you need to do is download this. For me, it says open because I've already downloaded it. For you, it will say download, download it. Easy, done. Next thing you need to do is create a BBC iPlayer account. Again, super easy. Probably easier to do it on a uh, browser. We've actually got a video for that as well. You can check it up in the top right. Take less than two minutes. So now you've got a UK iCloud account. You've got a BBC iPlayer account. Go into BBC iPlayer and you won't be able to play anything. That's because BBC iPlayer is only available for customers in the UK. Uh, so if you're outside the UK, it's going to block your internet connection. I'll quickly show you what that looks like. So here I am on BBC iPlayer. Try and open Mayfair Witches, whatever this is, and click play. And I get an error saying something went wrong. Now, the reason that's happened is because BBC iPlayer has figured out that I'm not in the UK when I try and access its content. It does this by scanning my IP address. Now, an IP address is basically like an area code for your internet connection. It will show what country you're in when you connect to the internet. I'm in New Zealand, so my IP address shows I'm in New Zealand. BBC iPlayer realizes that I'm not in the UK and it blocks my connection. So, how do you change that? I'm going to show you right now. So the easiest way to change your IP address is with a VPN. Now, up until recently, Apple TV did not support VPNs. However, ExpressVPN has just released a native app for Apple TV. There it is there. If you go to the App Store and search for ExpressVPN, this is the easiest way to do it. There it is there. Download that. Now, ExpressVPN is a paid VPN. We actually have uh, a discount code that will give you three months of your subscription for free. The link is in the description below. Um, this will allow you to watch any streaming service wherever you are, whether it be, look, you can see what I've got. I've got Hulu, BBC iPlayer, all four. It's very, very good service. I could not recommend it enough. Anyway, you'll need to make an ExpressVPN account, um, sign up for it, and then download it on Apple TV. Um, once you've done that, open ExpressVPN and connect to a UK-based server. So Europe, UK. I like to use maybe a little, what I would think is less popular. Um, London will obviously be extremely popular. Wembley, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, Anyway, anyway, so I'm connected to Wembley, I'm connected to a UK server. What that's done is it's made my IP address look like it's in the UK. So now it looks like I'm connecting to the internet from within the UK. So go back to BBC iPlayer. Try and watch Mayfair Witches again. And this time... It works. That's how easy it is to watch BBC iPlayer on Apple TV outside the UK. If you have any questions or anything like that, we have a more in-depth uh, article linked in the description below. And make sure you click on that link and get three months of your ExpressVPN subscription for three. For free.